Hi guys! In this video we're going to be looking at types of radiation, alpha radiation, beta radiation, gamma radiation, radiation in magnetic fields, and then we're going to finish with a summary. We're going to discuss the three different types of ionising radiation. Ionisation is the process of removing an electron from an atom to produce a positively charged ion. So here we have an atom and if an electron is removed from the atom by the process of ionisation, it forms a positive ion. We can cause this ionisation of atoms by using something called ionising radiation. Here's an example of a type of ionising radiation, which will cause an electron to be removed from the atom and create a positive ion. Ionising radiation is radiation that can ionise atoms by removing some of their electrons, leaving positive ions. There are three types of ionising radiation that can be distinguished by their different properties in nature. The first type is alpha radiation. The second is beta radiation, which can be split into beta negative and beta positive radiation. And the third type is gamma radiation. We're going to go into a bit more detail about alpha radiation. Alpha radiation is composed of alpha particles. And here's an image of an alpha particle. Each alpha particle is positively charged and comprises of two protons and two neutrons. So within our alpha particle, we have two protons and also two neutrons. Using this, we can deduce that the charge of an alpha particle is plus 2e, where e is the charge on a single electron. We know that neutrons are neutral and that protons have a charge of plus e. Therefore, the overall charge is plus 2e. Alpha particles are the heaviest out of the three types of ionising radiation. Remember that the three types are alpha radiation, beta radiation and gamma radiation. And of these three types, it is alpha radiation that is the heaviest. An alpha particle is identical to the nucleus of a helium atom. So here we have an image of a helium atom. And you can see that this helium nucleus is exactly the same as an alpha particle. Alpha particles are emitted in the decay of unstable nuclei. This nucleus is unstable, so it will undergo radioactive decay and emit an alpha particle. Now we're going to look in a bit more detail at beta radiation. Beta radiation is composed of beta minus particles or beta plus particles. Here's an example of a beta minus particle, and here's an example of a beta plus particle. Beta minus particles are fast moving high energy electrons, and beta plus particles are fast moving high energy positrons, which are the antiparticle of electrons. A positron is the antiparticle of an electron, and it has a positive charge of plus e while an electron has a negative charge of minus e. So we see that beta particles are always charged. We find that beta particles are lighter than alpha particles. And we know this because protons and neutrons have greater masses than electrons and positrons. Beta minus particles are emitted when an unstable nucleus has too many neutrons. So we can see that this nucleus here has too many neutrons and so it will emit a beta minus particle. Beta plus particles are emitted when an unstable nucleus has too many protons. And here we have an unstable nucleus with too many protons, which causes a beta plus particle to be emitted. The third and final type of ionising radiation we're going to discuss is gamma radiation. Gamma radiation is composed of gamma rays. Gamma rays are high energy photons with wavelengths that are less than 10 to the minus 13 metres. So the photons that make up gamma rays are high energy and their wavelengths are less than 10 to the minus 13 metres. As gamma rays are photons, they travel at the speed of light and have zero charge and mass. 
Remember that the speed of light C is equal to 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And because gamma rays are a type of electromagnetic radiation, they have zero charge and zero mass, unlike beta radiation and alpha radiation. Gamma rays are often emitted as byproducts of the decays that release alpha and beta radiation. So we've seen examples of unstable nuclei emitting beta radiation and alpha radiation. And gamma rays are often emitted as byproducts of these decays. This is to get rid of the remaining energy of the nucleus after alpha and beta decay, to make the nucleus more energetically stable. So after a nucleus emits a gamma ray, it becomes more energetically stable because it has a lower energy. We're now going to think about what happens to these three types of radiation in magnetic fields. We can investigate the properties of our three types of radiation, which are alpha radiation, beta radiation, and gamma radiation. We see that the three different types of radiation have different charges. Alpha radiation has a charge of plus 2e. Beta radiation can either be negative with a charge of minus e, or positive with a charge of plus e. And gamma radiation is uncharged. In the presence of a magnetic field, we see that the different types of radiation behave differently. So if we pass a beam of radiation into a region with a magnetic field, which is this blue circle here, the different types of radiation are going to deflect by different amounts. Let's consider applying magnetic field into the page. So the direction of the magnetic field in this region is into the page. Fleming's left-hand rule tells us that positive and negative particles will experience different forces. Remember that Fleming's left-hand rule states that the force on a particle in a magnetic field points in the direction of the thumb, the magnetic field points in the direction of the first finger, and the current or flow of positive charge points in the direction of the second finger. And this is the opposite direction to the way a negative charge would flow. We see that positive particles like the alpha and beta particles will be deflected up the page. If they are initially going in this direction and they enter a magnetic field pointing into the page, then the force on the positive particles is going to be directed upwards. And so their directions of motion will be deflected up the page. So both the beta particle that's positively charged and the alpha particle, we deflected up the page. And you can see the alpha particles are deflected less than the beta plus particles. This is because the alpha particles are much heavier. So the alpha particle experiences a smaller deflection than the beta plus particle. And this is because the beta plus particle is lighter than the alpha particle. On the other hand, negative particles like the beta minus particles will be deflected down the page. So if the negative charge is originally moving from left to right, we use Fleming's left hand rule and point our second finger from right to left to represent the fact that we're using negative charge. The magnetic field is into the page and the force points downwards. So the beta minus particle is going to be deflected downwards. So you can see that it's in the opposite direction to the positively charged alpha and beta plus particles. Finally, gamma rays are uncharged, so they remain undeflected and carry on moving in a straight line. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing A-level physics resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap goodbye smiley face and together let's make A-level physics a walk in the park.